What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition. Yeah, 2023. So, in our last episode, we finally got our very first Pokemon, and that happens to be Sage of the Halo, also known as Trico, and, uh, well, I don't know. A lot of you guys like it, a lot of you guys don't. It really doesn't matter, but we're gonna have a walkthrough with Sage of the of the Halo right here. And uh, yes, like I said in the last episode, we will be playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire at some at some point, and I'm just letting you know right now, we're gonna be using uh, Torchic in that one. Can't wait to use them. It's gonna be fun. Anywho, in uh, this episode right here, we're gonna be doing quite a few things, like run and battle some Pokemon, and speed up a few things because, well, you know, we kind of don't like to drag on and all that crap. So, here we are in Old Dale Town, and if you remember in the last episode, I didn't talk to him, but I did say this guy was, like, drawing up some kind of, uh, what was it called, um, some paw prints for a mystical Pokemon? Well, let's see what he has to say. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out that they were only my fo own footprints. Yeah. I don't know about that. Anywho, here we are going into Route 102. And now this is where we're going to be going on, uh, on on our battles and all that stuff. And one of the things that I've told you guys, after this dialogue, if you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Hmm. So like I was saying, in the last episode, yes, we are going to be speeding up some unimportant battles right here, guys. Just to make sure that, you know, just to make sure that we speed up the game right here because... We kind of want to get to the more important parts right here. We already know how to battle. We already know what's going on right here. There are no Pokemon in this in this area that we're going to want to capture, but we're still going to capture just for, you know, collection sake and all that crud. And here we have Bugcatcher Rick, and he will be coming out with two. So let's go ahead and pound it away. As you guys can see, that you know I'm almost done with the PP on my pound attack because, well, I have been training my Pokemon. And it, that's why it's at level 10 right here. Alrighty, so that's that. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this kid. And he's like, I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the grass. Trask, uh, the trask, or the grass goes up to my nose, uh, and it's about to sneeze, and bam, look at that. Okay, so after defeating that zigzag goon, we have gotten ourselves a new move, which is Crick Attack at level 11. And this guy thinks that we're both beginners, but really he doesn't know that I am both the Kanto and Johto champ. And, well, let's go ahead and speed up his demise. Quick attack, absorb, and there you go. And he's coming out with a Talo right here. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer, Youngster Allen. I called you because I thought I could beat you. Yeah, you thought wrong. You really did. Okay, so... One of the biggest things that, or one of the biggest changes in Generation 3 are the berries. Now, in Generation 2, we got berries, but they were only called like paralysis heal berries or poison cure berries and all that stuff. In Generation 3, they finally get some new names, such as Oren berries, Pekka Pekka Be Pecha berries, Wapir berries, um, Chesto berries, yeah, those kinds of things. And here we have two Pekka Pecha Pecha Pika, or I don't even know. I can't even pronounce it. Comment down below, guys. I put your names a lot. So we get those two berries, and we're going to be going down right here, and we're going to be taking on another trainer, and I'm going to keep on winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Okay. And we're going to be taking on Last Tiana. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Absorb. Absorb again, and just like that, we defeat her. And here's a Pokemon that right now I'm kind of just like all torn up about because it's Shroomish. You guys already know Shroomish is one of my favorite Pokemon because it evolves into a both a grass and fighting type Pokemon. Well, there's no need for us to actually get that Pokemon anymore because, well, we already got ourselves a grass type Pokemon and, well, I always seem to miss that potion right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and get into Petalbrook City. As many of you guys already know, Petalburg City is home to the first gym that goes in our way, and that is uh, the leader is Norman, a man in pursuit of power. And for those who don't know, he's our in-game daddy. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, and he's like, hmm. Well, if it isn't Draven, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see you're with your Pokemon. Hmm. 
then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Draven. That's good news. I'll be looking forward to it. And then all of a sudden, this young lad comes in. He's like, um, uh, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, oh, all right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives at Verdant Turf Town. I thought it would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Draven, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. And he's got himself a Zigzagoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Just go for it. And, oh wow, thank you. Draven, would you, would you really come with me? Sure, by force. So, in this part of this game, and this happens to be like the teaching portion of uh, how to capture a Pokemon, and to me, this is a big middle finger towards me. You know, the in-game sun, because, well, you guys are gonna see. Draven, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Yeah. Look at that, guys. First try, he gets a Ralt. Seriously! We all know how many times it, it, it takes for all of us to try and find a Ralt. But seriously, the first time? Oh my god, and he only hits it one time. How lucky is this kid? Watch. He's gonna hit it once again. And it is quote unquote weak. And, uh, well, let's see. Look what Wally does, and he's like, okay, enough, come back. I, I can't do that. You throw a ball now, right? And, well, look what Wally does now. He's gonna, he has one potion, and he has a Pokeball. Now, my question is this. You're going up against a Ralts, a level five Ralts. He doesn't learn anything until level six. How are you gonna win any battles? Oh my god, and, well, there we go. Ralts has been caught. That is complete BS. I, I, I swear this game doesn't like us. I did it! It's my Pokemon! Draven, thank you, let's go back to the gym. Yep. So, did it work out? Thank you, yes it did, here's your Pokemon back. Draven, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon, I promise. I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Draven. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, when I try capturing a Ralt, it takes me about 30 minutes without a speed button. But when it comes time for this guy to capture a Ralt, he... <laughs> first try, yeah, thanks a lot, Dad. Now, Draven, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head to Rustboro City beyond this point, the, this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Broxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat her leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course... I'm a gym leader too, well about a one day Draven, but that's only after you become stronger. Yeah, if I had my Pokemon from Kanto and Johto, you wouldn't be talking like that dad. You really wouldn't, but yeah, you know, it's, none, it's none of my business, it really isn't, it's none of my business. So before you try to leave Petalburg City here in Pokemon Emerald, this gentleman will see you and he's going to be like, excuse me, let me guess, from the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. Wow, total disrespect, I'm like right here. I'm roaming the land in search of a talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Flipping you off, man, I am literally flipping you off. The disrespect, man, seriously. <laughs> Anywho, guys, I will be right back with you because we got a few things that we need to do. That means including capturing uh, some Pokemon that we might need for our adventure. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we have our first Pokemon teammate. And that is going to be Wingle. Now, like in Pokemon Fire Red, not all of these Pokemon are going to be on our team forever. We're going to adjust them. We're going to find the right combination until we have that one team ready to go for the Pokemon League, and the reason why I'm picking Wingle is because, well, it is both a flying and water type Pokemon, and I've always had my eye on using it at some point in time in Crap Baskets. Okay, so, here is our first Pokemon that we want to actually capture, guys, and that is Wingle. Why Wingle? 
I know many of you guys are saying this this Pokemon is ass. It is complete booty cheeks. It is because it's both a flying and a water type Pokemon. And it, I've always had my eye on this Pokemon in particular because, well, it could be useful for the very first battle. Maybe the second one, too. And just like in Fire Red, not all of our Pokemon are going to stay on our team forever. We're going to pick the combination to make this team better. That way, when we get to the Elite Four, you know, we got that team ready, ready to go. So, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball just to not risk it because I've already went up against a Wingle and yeah, it didn't really work out well and throwing out that peace sign. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. We got Wingle, the Seagull Pokemon. Two feet, 20 pounds. It makes its nest on a, sh a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. It has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight. Instead, it soars on updrafts. Hmm, that's cool. All right, so I've been thinking about this uh, Pokemon's nickname for quite some time, and I think I think it's time to add another another member to the Blade family. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we got Fluff Blade, we got uh, what was it? What was it? What was the other one? Yeah, I complete completely forgot about the other guys' names, but here we have another Pokemon that we can put the Blade lit nickname on. So say hello to let's see if this fits in. There we go. Okay, okay. I, I did not press that button. A splash and B L A D. Let's see. B L <laughs> A. Oh crap, baskets. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we need to we need to we need to fix this. Okay. Instead of having the the A, we're just gonna be going like this. Splash or splish. <laughs> God, this is horrible. Okay, we're gonna be going like this. Splish blade, splash. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna be nicknaming this guy like this. Blade, 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 splash blade. Oh wow. You know what? It's not gonna be a good nickname. So I'll be right back with you guys after I find an appropriate nickname. Alrighty guys, so before anybody gets all mad at me because I picked up a Wingle, here is the nickname of the new Pokemon. We are calling this Pokemon Seablade. That's right. And it's because it has both water and flying capabilities. That can cover us for quite some time. It does have a hasty nature. So let me go ahead and take a look at what a uh, hasty nature does. Let's see, hasty nature, as you can probably tell, its speed will be increased, but unfortunately its defense will take a dive. And it does have the keen eye, so it prevents any kind of loss of accuracy. Now, I did train it up to level 7, that way, you know, we actually have some kind of like a fighting chance and all that crud. It only has water gun attack. But, it can actually help us out for the very first gym. We have two Pokemon that can do that. And, uh, well, it does have Supersonic as well, that way, you know, we don't die in anything. Now. If you guys can tell, I have a Zigzagoon right here. I would, su I will suggest getting a Zigzagoon not for your team, or but for two things. One, because of its ability right here, it, and that is pickup. At random times, Zigzagoon could pick up a rare item. It could be, it could range from a super potion, regular potion, even a rare candy of, of some sort. Now the other thing too, it's for its move ability. We will be getting some HMs later on. As you can see, we got a repel. Uh, we will be getting HMs later on, and Zigzagoon can learn at least, uh, I want to say five? Five out of the seven? Yeah, five out of the seven uh, HMs. Correct me if I'm wrong right there, guys. Actually, it's four out of the seven. And, uh, well, now let's go ahead and continue on right here, guys. Let's go straight into Route 104 and start battling everybody. Speed version and all that crud. And, uh... I think we're gonna go straight into this, uh, the Petalburg Woods too. Yeah, we should probably go in there too, just in case. Nah, you know, we're gonna finish it off right here. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Yes, it is. Okay, bring it on. So here we go, taking on Youngster Billy, wanting to come as a uh, uh, take on, or wanting to uh, challenge us. And, well, let's go ahead and start speeding up the battle right here. Absorb, quick attack, and just like that, we get some more points. 
Let's go right ahead and switch out to Seablade, just to get a little bit of the experience points right here. As you guys can see, he does have a C dot. This Pokemon is a grass type Pokemon. So we're gonna try and beat it with uh, water water guns and uh, growl attacks. There we go, growl attack. And there we go, there we go, and that, just like that. We get experience points just like that, and well, we <laughs> yeah, we. it's gonna be a hard time trying to train this C blade right here. So let's go ahead and get a potion and give this a C blade right here. Again, we're not gonna have all these Pokemon on our team, but it would be it would be awesome to actually be open to all of them. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. And then we talk to this guy. He's like, I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. It has a magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. I don't like the sound of how he said magical twice. Oh god, and he has one, so he has a magic carp. Yeah. Okay. Let's beat it up. Absorb. There we go. Just like that, we defeated him. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what this is all about right here. Mr. Briny's Cottage. And if you go into here, you're going to find nobody looking around right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and grab two more, two more uh, berries right here. It could be useful. And battle one more trainer in a regular speed. That way, for the next episode... We get ready to take on some other uh, interesting Pokemon right there. So let's go right ahead and take on this rich girl. And she's like, "We must be. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask for you? Uh, may I ask you for a battle?" Sure. Okay. So here we have Lady Cindy. Now, if you take on a lady or a rich boy, it doesn't matter what level their Pokemon are. You will be getting a buttload of money if you defeat them. So just make sure to keep an eye out for those guys. Eventually, later when you get the Pokenav, you, you will be able to rematch them and all that crud too. And well, our attack has fallen, so let's go straight for a quick attack. And uh, yeah, I see the irony in using a physical attack after a growl attack. So let's go absorb. And look at that. Okay, so Zigzagoon has been defeated. And we get some more points right there. Say hello to level 13. And Lady City has been defeated. And after defeating her, we get 1,400 Poke Dollars right there. Alrighty. So we're gonna stop our episode right here, guys. I know it's been of, it's been of a, it's a, it's a bit of a short episode right here. But in the next episode, we will be going through the Palabra Woods all the way to Rustboro. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys again for being uh, patient. Thank you guys for being supportive and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.